Hey y'all, uh, Copenhagen Boy here with another dip video for y'all today and it's Valentine's Day and happy Valentine's Day to the guys that have girlfriends and the girls that have boyfriends and happy Valentine's Day to all the single people like me, myself, I still don't have a girlfriend <laughs> but it's okay because I've been waiting on my truck to be finished since 7 in the morning. Or 7 early this morning. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to pack a lip and get more into that. So yeah, been waiting on my truck to get finished at the shop. I took it up to the Chevy dealership to get that squeaking looked at. Say it was my belt. <clears throat> now we're going to run a few more tests to see if it was my belt. Which I already know it ain't my belt because, I mean, I replaced the belt before. And they're talking about putting another belt in it. I told them to go ahead and put it in. Still haven't gotten a call back. <laughs> Said they were going to run some further tests. And. Yeah. So I mean they're running further tests as it is. I mean they're trying to fix my truck. I mean fuck I got sick and tired of the squeaking so. And I knew it wasn't my belt. It's something internal in the engine somewhere. It has to be a pulley that is fucked up. Or a ball inside of like my engine or some shit. Or my, something inside of my engine bay maybe. I mean it, it's a million different things that could be wrong with this truck. And making it squeak vigorously and very loudly and obnoxiously so yeah I mean it is quite aggravating when you're going down the road and all you hear is coming from your fucking engine and you just crank up the music as loud as it'll go and then you just continue to ride on I mean, I've dealt with this for months, finally fed up with it, took my truck to the dealership, said, hey, I got a problem. You guys need to fix it, <laughs> pretty much. <clears throat> so I left my truck keys with them. I'm now driving my Ranger around. And for some of y'all who don't know, I do have two trucks. I have a Ford Ranger and a Chevy Silverado so yeah and that fucking glare on my camera is annoying the shit out of me it's like clear as day it's like right here I can see the glare and it's aggravating me ah! <laughs> but oh well there ain't nothing I can do about it but yeah I mean I've been sitting waiting on my truck I dropped it off yesterday at 2 in the afternoon and I've been up since 10 in the afternoon yesterday. I have not been to sleep. It's like 1, like 1.30 almost, 1.40 in the afternoon now. I'm still yet to go to sleep. Because I want my fucking truck back. <laughs> okay don't know where that came from but okay but yeah uh I, the funny thing is is that they actually put 
like some paper mats over my floor mats when my floor is already dirty as shit. I mean, dude, why are you going to do that? I mean, my floor is dirty as fuck. Don't worry about it. And then they put like, like a blue bag cover over my seat cover for the driver's side. Like, what? Like, what the fuck? Like, dude, you don't have to do all that shit. I have seat covers for a fucking reason. <laughs> like, what? You gonna put a blue cover over my seat covers? Really? I mean, let them do what they want to do. I mean, it's up to them. I mean, they can put a cover over my seat covers. I don't care. I can put some stupid little paper mat down on my floorboard. I mean, yeah, it don't bother me. I mean, I guess it's just courteous to the customer that's getting their vehicle fixed, you know what I mean? Shit. I can see why they do it with any vehicle, but, like, I mean, hopefully I can get my truck back today, but if they give me a call and tell me I can't pick it up till tomorrow, I'm going to be pretty pissed off. I mean, fuck. I've been waiting on my truck since yesterday. And, I mean, it's just ridiculous. I would drive the Ranger up there to go get the truck, but I wouldn't have someone to drive my Ranger back. And I don't trust anyone with that fucking truck. Because that is my dead grandfather's and dead grandmother's truck and I don't trust anyone with it there's only one person I have let him drive let drive that truck and that was fucking coke dipper and that was because I rode my bike down to the crystals and I needed a ride back to his house <laughs> but the whole time in the back of my mind was if that motherfucker runs into someone or someone hits him the person who hit him is going to get fucked up. Or if he fucks up my truck, he's getting fucked up. Pretty much. I, And that was the only time I let him drive it. No, no, no other times has he ever driven it. I won't even let people in my family drive it. Because I'm so picky with who I let drive that truck. Because if they fucking wreck it, I couldn't forgive them for it. You talk about me wanting to brawl? Oh my god. I'm talking, I would be brawling. I mean, somebody would be getting their ass whooped. Because that truck means a lot to me. But yeah, pretty much this is my Valentine's Day right here. Packing dips, waiting on my truck. And watching YouTube videos. I mean, that's about it. But yeah, y'all, hopefully y'all have an awesome Valentine's Day, whether you're single or not. And if you're single and you're depressed because it's Valentine's Day and you ain't got nobody to show no love to. It's alright, because I'm single too, so I feel your pain, which I, I'm used to being single, so, I mean, <laughs> ain't nothing new to me. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, no matter what y'all doing, 24-7, always pack a lip or a cheek, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Catch y'all in the next one.